Going live on your various social platforms like Facebook is a fantastic way to engage with your community. So let's dive into how you would actually break this live stream video down into what's considered micro content. <laughs> So when you're thinking about creating micro content from your live stream, you want it to just be one full cohesive point. It shouldn't have to need other parts of the live stream for it to make sense. You really just want it to stand on its own two legs. So there are two ways that you can do this depending on the type of live streams that you typically do. So let's say you're doing a live stream by yourself and you're going through the various parts and segments of a live stream. Maybe you're bringing up comments and engaging with the audience. You wanna make sure that you're separating community engagement from your core tips. That way, when you repurpose the content, it stands on its own two feet and it's contextualized versus interrupting that flow by bringing in a comment or a question that has nothing to do with that specific tip. If you're tending to bring people on and you're interviewing them, just restate the question or ask your guests to restate the question in their response. That way you have one cohesive clip that's contextualized for the live stream. Another way that you can do this is depending on what that tip is, you can give them an intro, say what it's going to be about transition over into the live stream give an outro and you're good to go you have an entire live stream that you can repurpose and really put to work for you and you can make multiple pieces of content for multiple platforms there are a couple guidelines things that you want to look for in every piece that you post we found that over 85 percent of videos on facebook actually are watched with no sound which leads us into making sure that those videos have captions so people can read it every platform has specific guidelines when it comes to how long the video should be. Think about the video intent and then think about making sure it's fitting that specific platform. A few bonus tips that you wanna consider is batch recording. You have an entire live stream that you can repurpose for multiple platforms. Another pro tip is you can actually use the same video content, but changing the header so that it matches the social behavior per platform. Another thing that you wanna do is make sure you have a clear call to action. Make sure you have a way for them to continue the conversation or do something next that also triggers engagement points on any social platform that you're going to post this video to. So if you have a library of content, especially micro content that you're posting online, we actually have a fantastic video that you can start watching right now that will tell you how to really maximize the organic reach that you're getting off of this video. It's some mistakes you probably don't want to make. So make sure you check out the video on the screen and I'll see you over there.